Not yet. Not yet. Okay, multiplying and dividing. <clears throat> so we talked a little bit about just numbers yesterday with multiplying and dividing, but these have variables in them. Okay, so <clears throat> when you multiply, divide, you're looking for anything that can cancel. Multipliers and dividers that can cancel. Okay, so I'm going to look at the four on the top and the two on the bottom. I can reduce, I can divide each by a 2. So if I divide by a 2, this becomes a 1, this becomes a 2. All right, now let's take a look at x stuff. There's an x cube and there's an x on the bottom. What could I divide by? I could divide or cancel out an x. So this becomes crossed off, canceled. <clears throat> and if I take an x out of an x cubed, it becomes an x squared, right? And now I'm going to look at the y stuff. So on the top there was a y, bottom there was a y squared. So I'm going to cancel y out. That's the most I can do. So y is out and y squared turns into just a y. Okay, so what am I left with? On the top, 2 times x squared times 5. That's what I'm left with. So 10x squared, 2x squared and 5 made 10x squared. That's good. We see it. And on the bottom, that canceled y and that canceled, so just the y. So you're just looking for cancellations. Okay, now, rationals. So yesterday, we, we learned we have to have our factoring styles mastered. Okay, so we should instantly now be able to recognize, oh, that's a difference of squares. <laughs> X subtract 2. Is there anything I can do with that? No. Okay, what do we do when we divide a fraction? Divide. Instead of divide, I times and flip. Okay? Um, what do you want to do with this one here? What style is it? Simple. Okay, but I'm going to be on the bottom here instead of the top, right? Because I flipped it. So xx multiplies to 3, multiplies to negative 3. Got to make a negative 2 out of the add. <laughs> Okay, what's this last one? What's the style of it? Anybody remember this one yesterday? It's not a simple trinomial. It's not an option. Negative out. Okay, why? Because I don't like negative leading variables. Okay, so I'm going to do this work over here. Negative 1 is out. Now we got to change everything. So negative x squared becomes positive x squared. Positive x becomes subtract x. Positive 2 becomes subtract 2. Okay, now, negative 1 out, 
but I'm gonna take that part and do the simple trinomial with it, right? You see it? So I had to do a two-stepper. So now you're looking to multiply to negative two and add to negative one. Okay, there we go. Now we're looking for cancellations. Anything from a top and a bottom. Any top with any bottom pair. So x subtract 3. Cancel. x plus 1. Okay, it doesn't matter where. It could be on that one or that one. It just is a, it has to be top bottom. And then x minus 2. So I'm left with an x plus 3 and a negative 1 there. That's the only things I'm left with. Um, I would probably end up finalizing my answer by actually multiplying them. Okay. What is wrong with somebody who writes this? This is a mistake. You got to figure out what's their problem. What if somebody had this as an answer? What is wrong? It looks like they're subtracting one. See that? Okay. So how could they fix it? brackets now I'm multiplying okay but without that it looked like they were just adding or subtracting with the one and that's not what you want okay here we go um x plus one nothing four nothing how do I divide fractions Times flip. Hello? Yep, okay. Okay, um, I'm flipping. I'm going to start by just putting that x squared on the top now with the flip because I can't do anything with it anyway. Okay. And this. What do we want to do with that? Style-wise, do you recognize something? Okay, you always got to have them on the back of your head. Is it simple, complex trinomials? GCF, difference in squares, negative outs. GCF. Okay, so two terms, what's the most I could take out of both of them? 2x out. Oh. 2x times x, 2x times 1. Okay, now x plus 1, x plus 1, that's a top bottom. Okay, I can also do something with this. That's a top bottom, I can cancel something out. So x squared and x, I could cancel an x. So if I cancel an x, that's out. And if I cancel an x, I'm just going to cross that out because instead of x squared, I have an x. Okay. Why can't I cancel with the 2 and the 4? Why can't I cancel that? Bottom, bottom. You can't do that. You can't do bottom, bottom stuff. Okay. It's only a top divide by bottom. Okay. So what am I left with here? x. And I'm left with a 
8. Okay, last one. Okay, so there's lots of factoring going on. Um, these all need to get factored. You know what? They are all simple trinomials, right? You see it? Simple, simple, simple. Okay. This is a times, so I don't have to do the flip, right? Because we're already just timesing, so there's no flipping on this one. Okay, I'll let you go. I want you to get all those factors for me. Okay, sorry, I'm just recording. Um, here's your factors, the cancels. Okay, just in making sure again that this x plus 6, the only thing left, don't just write it because it's on the bottom. So you have to make sure it's on a bottom. Okay, I guarantee you that would be on a test where I trick people, making sure that you know it's on a bottom.